Well, uh, it's been a long week last week. Uh, we had a grant rejection, uh, which we took us sort of three or four months to write and was based on about three years' work. And it got rejected outright by the committee, so we're going to have to regroup again. Right. Dear Dr. Scott, and it has the title of the grant, and it just simply says, I regret to inform you that your application to the Plant and Microbial Sciences Committee was unsuccessful. Uh, and then it has some standard blurb about how we received the referee's comments, which indeed we did. Uh, then it's a standard thing saying the proposal was not sufficiently competitive to obtain funding. And also the, the real damning bit, of course, is that the committee did not invite resubmission and therefore will not accept a future one, which is the death and glory principle for the research councils. You get one shot, and if they don't invite for a resubmission, you have to substantially change the grant before it going back. So that's why we're going to have to regroup, look at what data we've got recently, decide whether it's a different committee and different priorities, which would be better for this grant. Well, one of the projects we we have here, in fact, one of the things that uh, I've been working on is uh, the sort of stuff that Prudence has been doing, uh, and also another postgraduate, Tom, uh, on this funny salty organism, um, Halopharax, which is from the Dead Sea. And we got about four years' worth of uh, results on this. And what we wanted to do was apply for some money to do some rather expensive stuff, and also provide a postdoctoral place for Tom once he finishes his PhD because he wanted to continue with the studies. Um, and all told with this and all the equipment and all the collaborators time and such like this came into about 588,000. So, which is, you know, a normal, these days, a normal three year, one postdoc grant. Uh, and it went off to what was the Plant and Microbial Sciences Committee, uh, which is a committee I've never applied to before. Um, but we wrote a very good grant. Uh, we got it mentored by lots of people, um, and it got turned down flat. <laughs> so normally, I'm uh, what's known as there's three areas that you normally get put into. There's the green area, which is funded, which has happened to me twice so far in four years. There is the grey area, where every other grant I have ever written has ended up in, um, which shall we say is highly placed on the rejection list. Um, or they will fund it if they have money, which has only happened to me once. And then there's the outright rejection, which I've actually never been in before. Um, but then again, I've never applied to this committee before. So, um, I don't know, I've, you, know you feel sore, you um, want to go off and um, uh, do something completely different, you know, work somewhere different where they actually give you money. <laughs> I mean, we had sort of, you know, late last year, we had the equipment grant funded, and we'd written this one, we were, all, we were very enthusiastic about this this grant uh, because it contains lots of good ideas and uh, I showed it to a colleague um, recently uh, sorry in fact l last Friday and he was he was very very enthusiastic about the sort of things that are going on here but you, until we get the proper feedback from the committee we don't know I knew that it was being considered uh, I think it was Tuesday and Wednesday this week so Thursday I phoned the BBSRC uh, with my reference number and they told me over the phone <laughs> And then about half an hour later, an official email came out. So, uh, yeah, and I had Tom in the office at the time, so I had to tell him as well. What was that like? Um, well, I, trouble is we, we, we're, we're quite resigned about these things. We know what kind of game we're in, and it is a bit of a lottery. And, you know, you do lose the lottery more often than you win it. Um, so I don't know, quite know what he's going to do. He's got to write his thesis up. Um, so he's going, he's starting to look for a job. It's, I don't know, it is difficult starting off as a researcher. Um, it's been now four and a half years I've been doing this and I've passed a magical hump recently of getting referees reports back and then going, who? And now it's Dr. Scott is a mid-career researcher and then they actually start to discuss the grant and what you're doing. Um, so it's just a case of publishing more. Uh, I'm speaking at the Biochemical Society conference at the end of this month. You know, it's it's advertising more, letting more people know what you do. Um, do reputations count with these applications then? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you do see comments such as uh, this person has no track record, which is pretty bad when you're trying to do something new. Because uh, you're not going to have a track record, and in fact nobody is. 
uh, or uh, we don't know whether this, this will be high risk, uh, which usually means that uh, you've not published enough on it, <laughs> on the field. So it, the problem is also for the research councils, they receive a huge number of fundable grants and they have to draw the line somewhere. So as you look down any list of grants that have been funded, you obviously get the exceptional ones which are going to be funded and the complete dross at the bottom. But in between, it's just an increasing set of excuses not to fund. Mm 